During homecoming week, Choose Safe came to Rampart to educate students on the importance of safe driving. KRAM dove into the events of this week and the significance of driving safe. Choose Safe is a program that is actually put together um, by a number of different city organizations. But the idea behind it is that we want teenagers to be good drivers, be good passengers, be good pedestrians. We put it together last year. Um, it's for all the schools in Colorado. But the Choose Safe actually stands for, so we want to choose safe driving, safe speeds, and seat belts every time, avoid alcohol, drugs, and dangerous behaviors, focus on the road and driving, and eliminate distractions. The safety expo that occurred on Tuesday showed how important it is for teens to learn about safe driving. There's a lot of teenagers, like we learned on Monday during our assembly, um, they get into accidents because they're distracted. We want them to be aware that this is a problem and hopefully they can make better choices to not be distracted by those things while they're driving. There has been over a 70% increase in teen fatalities on the road in Colorado since last year. As of last month, we'd already lost 55 teenagers here in Colorado. So we want to reach out to teenagers. Um, just give them some tips and tricks and remind them just to be safe on their roads. And anything that could help us get to zero, we want to do. Ultimately, we want everybody to be safe. That's why we're here, right? That's why we're at the high school, so we can touch, you know, 1,600 kids. And hopefully one will make a good decision not to drive drunk or not to drive, you know, recklessly. So homecoming and prom are two times where we see the most accidents happen with teenagers um, and so we cho chose this week to just be a reminder that we want you guys to arrive safely and we want you to arrive home safely as well. Students learned many valuable things during this week. Um, my biggest takeaway was probably just like driving safe is really important especially like even when it just comes down to like texting and just talking to your friends or like even driving with your friends. Really important to just stay focused on driving and not try to do other things all at once. The biggest takeaway I had was the uh, texting and driving with the like little mini go-karts. I mean I ran into nearly every cone and I didn't realize how big of a distraction it was to have your phone on you while you're driving. Finally, some first responders and teachers leave us with some safe driving tips. Biggest piece of advice for teen drivers would be to slow down, um, give yourself time. Like uh, Detective Hayden said yesterday, give yourself an extra five minutes so that you guys can drive slow and that you can do what you need to do and you don't have to be in a rush. Just make good choices and you know what those choices are. Everybody knows not to drink and drive. We know that. Everyone knows to wear their seatbelt every time. If you are the driver of a car, make sure your passengers have their seatbelt on as well because you know you wouldn't want to be the driver and then lose one of your friends in a crash. So, so I have a 15 year old who just got her permit and honestly I just reminded her that her getting her permit and her being behind the wheel of a car, she is now operating a dangerous weapon and you want to think of it the same as you would any other dangerous weapon is that your life is at stake and other people's lives are at stake and it only takes like officer Hayden said it only takes a second and a half for somebody's life to change significantly. The week came to an exciting conclusion at the homecoming football game when the flight for life helicopter dropped the game ball off on the field. Rams remember next time you get in your car to always choose safe. This has been McKenna Blatnick reporting for KRAM. Go